The Pula Convention is always a team effort, and there's so many thank yous. We will have a week of intense training and professional development workshops and plenary sessions. Our theme this year is new platforms, new directions, New Orleans. Many of this week's sessions will focus on the changing landscape and how we, can, how we journalists can survive in this ever turbulent industry. The Sanford City Manager and the Sanford City officials conducted an internal investigation into the matter concerning Bill Lee. Uh, they concluded their investigation and they uh, decided based on the investigation to terminate him from employment. That's their decision. Trayvon's parents respect the decision of the city manager. There were some things that I heard about my son that just were not true and that hurt me a great deal because he was still a minor and it, it bothered me. Um, I know that's your job to re do the reporting but sometimes you need to verify the facts before you report them because like I said this was our life you know this was my son this was just not a news story and tomorrow is gone I have to live with this the rest of my life he was an average teenager um, he smiled all the time if you look at the pictures you can see he was a happy child he was not a problem a problem child he did not cause problems and uh, he was a very loving child he kissed me every day at 17 years old. He would still kiss me. He would still rub my stomach. He still did those little things for me that I miss so much. Um, those are the type of things that, that, that I'm going to miss and that's not being reported. You know, I would take him to school. I miss me riding him to school in the mornings. Those things. I think we have to view this for what it is. This is the most systematic, aggressive, organized assault on voting rights in a very, very long time. And it's a new strand of the disease of attacking voting rights. Meaning, we had for many, many years in the very in the post-Civil War, in the post-Plessy time, grandfather clauses, poll taxes, literacy tests. Then we had gerrymandering. Uh, we had a whole range of restrictions in the South, which made it difficult for people to register to vote because you had to go to the courthouse, go to a fixed location, and over time, through litigation, lawsuits, changes in federal statutes, uh, democracy evolved. Now we have this new strand. And the reason why it's, I characterize it as the most systematic is because think that all of this has occurred in roughly a 24-month period. And the other thing is, is that you cannot discuss this without discussing the group, the American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC, which is the organization which created these voter suppression model laws and spread this poison all over the country. We are shooting on an actual archaeological site. Some people say that when you're on the site of actual slave quarters, slave grounds, plantations, that you can feel the spirits of, of what has happened there. And I, I mean, I, I will tell you that for me, it was overwhelming. I mean, my job always as an actor is to give over to the magical what if, you know, to put myself in somebody else's shoes or somebody else's experience as if it was my own. And both Jamie and I, everybody, I'll tell you this, we 
we try to have fun on this set because it's so intense. You know, we play music in between takes, we, we support each other, we try to keep our spirits up, but those days on those grounds, it is gospel music from dawn to dusk. Wow. In between every take, it is spirituals and gospel music, and we are respecting what has happened because you feel it. You feel it. There's this one beautiful tree. Most of the trees were covered in moss, and there's this one beautiful tree that has no Spanish moss. And I said to the woman who works the grounds, who's there, I said, tell me why, why is that tree so different? It's, it, it, what is that? And she said to me, she said, that is probably a hanging tree. Oh, because man. those trees were trees. That, so, so here we are doing a scene where my character, Ruth Hilda, is being brutalized, and it's happening near that tree. There's no way but to feel a connection to the history of what's happened before you, and to know that you have to work harder than you've ever worked before to, to be honest about that brutality and about that evil. I think it's important, this, this association for black journalists is, is huge. There's such a large network from all over the nation and you know, it's important. I, I wouldn't be half where I am if it wasn't for the writers and the journalists who report about me, write reviews, listen to my music and feel moved to talk about me and what I do. And, and I, I think it's important that this association exists because we have to honor and recognize the people that are doing great things in their fields and in their industry. I'm fortunate enough to have that type of recognition with the BET Awards, with the Grammys, and that association. So, for this to be an organization that exists, you know, I, I think that it's absolutely important that you know I can support however way I can, whichever way I can. I'm talking now to Bartiz Cox here at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention. Hi, Bartiz, and how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? And you are from the University of Oklahoma. Yes, I go to the University of Oklahoma. And this is your first NABJ convention? Yeah, it's my first time. Really excited to be here. So what is the thing that has been the most exciting for you? The most exciting thing at this convention would be that I'm working on the social media team as a student projects fellow. And um, it's the first year for them to allow PR students to work it. And um, it's just an awesome opportunity to meet all types of people from various parts of the industry. I'm sure you've seen a lot of things here at the convention. What is the one thing that you've seen at the convention that made you say, I am so glad I was here to personally experience it? Wow. The, oh my goodness. Well, honestly, um, seeing Vice President Joe Biden speak. Um, I work in DC, I'm a policy fellow at Free Press, and I'm on the Hill a lot. And there's certain people that are just untouchables I mean, you see them all the time, but you really don't get to know who you're voting for, and you really don't really understand the person behind the mask. But seeing him speak with us and relate to us and understand what we're going through and appreciate us, I, I, I mean, I, I was so put off. I, I always think, oh, it honestly, really doesn't even matter who you vote for because the same thing's going to happen. And But th it changed my mind. Um, <clears throat> I realized that there was a real person there. Ladies and gentlemen, of late, I don't understand our Republican colleagues rejecting things that historically Republicans have supported. When the president asked me to help put the jobs bill together, we deliberately sat down and, went and included it in things that they've always supported, always been for. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no, what you might call, cooperation. My name is Aaliyah Don. Okay. And my name is Deontay. And you're both from New Orleans? 
Well, I'm actually from Detroit. I moved down here six years ago because my mom, she helps rebuild in New Orleans. Like right after Katrina, she helped rebuild, you know, the city. She owns her own construction business. Right. And um, I've been up, you know, up and down from New Orleans. I basically, um, I, I was born in Atlanta, but um, I moved here because my mother, um, she's from New Orleans and um, stayed here for some time, went to a couple of elementary schools out here, um, went to Thurgood Marshall Middle School. I am leaving the NABJ convention and I saw you young men performing actually for a promoter and I was very, very impressed. And you're young and I was just blown away and I had to talk to you and find out, first of all, what are your aspirations as performers? Well. Basically, my aspirations are, you know, to reach the youth of this city and all around the world that are, you know, walking in darkness and that are doing, like, wrong things like killing and stealing and, you know, and bring them to a more positive aspect of life. Ah, and you? Yes, I'm um, also the same. What are your ages? Um, I'm 23. Okay. And I'm 18. Him and I came together and make beautiful music. Ah, beautiful music together. And that is what I want everybody to hear right now, some beautiful music. I just wanna make it. Whoa, whoa. I just wanna make it. Yeah, yeah. I just wanna make it. I just wanna make it. I just wanna make it. Make it. I come from the place where people killing each other and raging. Girls having babies at early ages. He don't put his head in the books to get his grade. You see, they physically free, but they mentally slaves. Applause to you guys. And is this an original song? It is an original song. Yes, it is original. Do you exactly. have a website? Um, not at the moment, but we do have uh, a Twitter and also um, Instagram. Um, our Twitter is First Place GMG. Um, you spell that out um, one S T G M G. Um, well, including the first place um, one S T Place G M G, um, and also our Twitter is also one S T Place G M G. Thank you very much. Today, Kroom, here in the Big Easy, New Orleans. Wow.